Friday evening was a bleak one for UND hockey fans who had hoped to see the Fighting Hawks win the conference tournament and strengthen their bid for a number one seed in the NCAA tournament. Instead, North Dakota fell at the hands of Omaha in the semifinals, a team they've struggled to beat all season. Despite losing in the semifinals of the NCHC Frozen Faceoff, the Fighting Hawks will still be making their way into the NCAA tournament for the 35th time in program history. North Dakota finished as the regular season champions in the NCHC, winning the Penrose Cup. The Fighting Hawks finished the regular season with a 26-11-2 record, sweeping six separate series against conference foes. This afternoon was the selection show for the NCAA men's ice hockey. And the Fighting Hawks found out what the next leg of their postseason looks like. And it looks like this. The Fighting Hawks were selected as the number two seed to compete in the Maryland Heights region. That sets a date with the Michigan Wolverines this Friday night. This is UND's third NCAA tournament appearance in the past four seasons. The Fighting Hawks will be chasing their ninth national championship and their first one since 2016. The Wisconsin Badgers are one of the most successful programs in women's college ice hockey, winning three of the past four national championships. Bismarck native Britta Curl has been a big part of the Badger success, and today was the last time she'd be taking the ice for the University of Wisconsin. And it's only right that the last time she does it is in, in the hunt for another national title. Today's opponents were the Ohio State Buckeyes, the same team the Badgers beat to win in last year's title game. It's the 11th time that Wisconsin has played in the championship game, and the team is looking for its eighth national title. This one was scoreless all the way up until just over seven minutes to play in the third period. Britta Curl nearly had a breakaway there, but it's the Buckeyes coming the other way, and Joey Dunn fires it into the back of the net to give Ohio State the lead. That would be the only goal in this one, as Ohio State wins its section, second national championship in women's ice hockey, this time avenging last year's title game loss to the Badgers. Now you've heard us talk all week about the Nebraska Cornhuskers and their matchup against Texas A&M in the first round of the NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament. Now it's time for Logan Nisley and the Cornhuskers. It's their next challenge and it's the second round opponent, Oregon State. This game was played in Cornwallis, Oregon and on the Beavers' home floor as well. This was 16 points for Logan Nisley against Texas A&M. That guaranteed her a start again today, and it was a slow start for the Cornhuskers. They would find themselves down double digits early. Nisley was able to add some offense early. She hit a couple of pull-up jumpers. She'd have five points at halftime. The Beavers would control the tempo for much of this one, barring a late push from Nebraska. Nisley would add two more points in the second half, finishing with seven points, four rebounds, and one steal. Annika Stewart, who played at Bishop Ryan in Minot in 8th and ninth grade, added 8 points off the bench for the Cornhuskers. The Beavers would hang on to win this one, 61-51 to over the Cornhuskers. Oregon State advances to play the winner of Ole Miss and Notre Dame in the Sweet 16 of the Women's College Basketball Tournament. I hope you all are staying warm and dry out there.